So, how would you decide either to buy or sell a stock? By searching through the internet or reading financial articles in newspapers, watching financial news on TV, or does anybody rely on whispers like in this comic? Um, Marvel Annual, as you've already introduced me, from Warwick Complexity Centre, and I'm working with Tobias Price and Susie Mott from Warwick Business School Data Science Lab. So today we're going to discuss about quantifying the relationship between financial news and stock markets. So the movements of the stock markets impact the lives of many individuals from financial sector and far beyond. Therefore, obvious benefits lie in better understanding of this complex system. Financial transaction data sets reflect the final outcome of the decision-making process of the traders. So this process can be affected by various information resources which is available in traders' environment. Recent research, including the ones by Susie and Tobias, has sought to investigate whether the data that information users seek online can give us some insight into the market movements. However, they do not only receive information by just typing Google or searching in the internet, but also by actively and passively receiving um, news broadcasts by large financial news outlets such as Financial Times. So as I mentioned, we're going to talk about relationship between stock markets and financial news. So we use Financial Times as our financial news data source. So we have a corpus of daily printed issues of Financial Times from 2008 till the end of 2012. So before going into the correlation analysis, let's have a look at the data um, that we were dealing with. So this is how does our data look like. Um, so as you can also see that there are significant differences between the length of the issues between um, between the days. For example, weekend issue of the Financial Times is released on Saturdays um, and it is significantly longer than the rest of the week and the longest issue during the weekdays is on Mondays. Okay, so let's go back to our main topic, the relationship. So we first started our analysis by looking at the daily mentions of the company names that are listed in Dow Jones Industrial Average. So we started our analysis by checking correlation between daily mentions of the company names and their transaction volumes. So the encrypted symbols on the right hand side uh, indicates the companies, they're the ticker, ticker symbols, for example BAC stands for Bank of America and C stands for Citigroup um, KO stands for Coca-Cola and so on. At any one time, Dow Jones has 30 companies, but we use 31 companies for our analyses because during the period of our analyses, uh, Travelers has replaced Citigroup and we had data from both of the companies, so we used them both. So, our results suggest that greater interest in a company in the news is related to the greater interest in the corresponding company in stock markets. So the half of, um, more than half of the correlations are significantly different than zero, we can say. So greater change in transaction volume is linked to greater change in stock prices. So it would be reasonable to find a similar relationship between daily mentions and absolute return price, which indicates how much a price changes regardless of its direction. So here are our results. So our results suggest that um, the larger interest, the greater interest in a company in the news is also linked to a greater change in the corresponding company's uh, stock prices. So again, we have our ticker symbols, TRV for travelers, KO Coca-Cola, Citigroup, and AXP for American Express. And again, more, more than half of the correlation coefficients are significantly uh, different than zero. So we repeated the same analysis for daily mentions and daily returns, but our results so far provides no evidence that such 
a relationship exists. So the results that you've seen so far shows the relationship between daily mentions on a given day, which is released at 9 a.m. London time, because this is when Financial Times is out, according to London time. Um, um, the relationship between the daily mentions of the news on the same day with the trading, but the trading is later in the day, which is for most of the year from 2.30 2 p.m. till 9 p.m. London time. So by using these results, we cannot draw strong conclusions about causality of this relationship. To gain some initial understanding, we extended our study by uh, checking the relationship between transaction volume three days before the news and three days after the news. So we came up with uh, results that transaction volume one day before the news uh, is significantly related to the news as well as the same day as we've already discussed. More detailed analysis is required to be made in order to draw strong conclusions about the directionality of this relationship. Our initial results are consistent with the hypothesis that fluctuations in the stock market and movements in the financial news may exert a mutual influence upon each other. Hopefully, future research building on this study will seek to give us more understanding into the direction of the relationship between news and stock market. Thanks for your attention. <laughs>